Hey everybody, welcome back to Player Ready. I'm Namor in the disappointment. Yep, he's a super disappointment. I, <laughs> I'm Black Cat and I got big old titties. <laughs> Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Does whatever a spider can. Spins, spins a web, web and, his, and his nude. Sometimes he does things to his butt. Look out, Ramones. Here comes the Ramones. And Philip, I don't know what to and say. I, and I'm, that just uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I was swabbing it. I, I like That's it. what I do with every fucking song I sing. Philip, I don't know any words to anything ever. Philip is a beautiful creature. You just gotta let go. You know, the first comic ah! book I ever bought of Spider-Man was in a gas station. What? Really? Yeah, I was in a gas station. As Dude, a, as me a, too. As like a, uh, God, get a kid out of here. or a teenager. And my mom's getting gas. I walk inside, and Spider-Man number one, Tom McFarlane, was on on oh. inside the little oh, thing. Oh wow! Shit. Wow! And I was like, oh shit! Good it was choice. like, uh, I think it was like a gold one or a silver one, dude. The top one of those one. is super rare. Yeah, the McFarlane action figure of Spider-Man that came out like ten years ago is worth like four to five hundred dollars on eBay. I wish really? I had it. Yeah. Yep. Because that was one of the it's a that was super one of the uh, specific one. One of the uh, McFarlane figures I don't have. I have a shitload of them. I have so many McFarlane the figures. Highly coveted God. action figures. All right, Spider-Man fan, I'm gonna ask you a question. Okay. Tell me the one major uh, contribution Todd McFarlane had to Spider-Man as a character. You're asking me? Because I, I didn't read any. No, I mean like just in general. Whoever wants to answer. Added to oh, his the character. Web like it, well, not the character, or but added just a character to, to the, the to the design of Spider-Man. He had the web underneath the armpits. Mm, that was from the forties or from the sixties when he first showed up. Oh. What well. is the major contribution God he damn made? Spider-Man, why'd you just punch him? Oh like shit! The Green Goblin. Added was a it, lot was more it lines the, uh, and details. But was it the? Uh, it was oh just, God! I'm gonna gonna go out on a limb and say because. It's a weird thing, and Todd McFarlane's a fucking oh. weirdo. Is it? Is it something about the multiple arm Spider-Man? No, it is not. Oh, is it the web okay. shooters. You're close. Uh, did, oh, oh, I'm yeah. close. I'm close. Okay. No, Jared's close. Oh, Jared's. Oh, with the uh, under the arm thing. No. Did he do the? Nope. Uh, he didn't need to refill his webbing. Nope. Or he was the first to do that. Nope. Okay. Then I don't know. Todd McFarlane. <laughs> Todd McFarlane is the first one to draw Spider-Man's webs as webs and not just a white line. Oh! Yeah, so I sort of was right when I said oh. more details. Yeah, you were close. You were close. Oh, McFarlane that's likes cool. a lot of damn detail. I, I think he does. Yeah, man, McFarlane loves the detail. But I wanted some specificity. Well, I didn't know what the fuck. Which he, he, <laughs> I mean, McFarlane grew up in the, uh, you know, everybody's got muscles on muscles. Oh, yeah. Era. The life fell there. Yeah, yeah. Well, what's funny about I got an omnibus of one of like his early Amazing Spider-Man shit, and I realized that his inker makes a big fucking difference on his yes. artwork. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Well, he was a it's real heavy black dark. line type yeah. drawer. Yeah, his first couple when he had the original ink guy for the first few Amazing Spider-Mans, like, ooh, this isn't that great. But then he got the right <laughs> ink for his work. <laughs> I don't like this. Oh wait, no, his inker made it better. Yes. Hey, that happens sometimes. Hey, black cat. Hey, hey, can we, uh, can we team up? Oh, 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 oh. That's fucked up. I'm on Green Goblin. I can't stand the new Disney Green Goblin design. I just, no, uh, not the, uh, the Hulk looking thing. Yeah, uh. Although, I, I've gotten used to it since they use it so much. I liked it, it for a second, and then I was like, you know what? Uh, it's not my side. Oh, the monster Green Goblin? Yeah, the monster. The monster. Like the, uh. The ultimate Spider-Man Green Goblin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah, the ultimate, the ultimate version of Green Goblin. I kind of like Ultimate Green Goblin only because. God damn! This motherfucker. We have fought him three times. Well, I like him only because he's times. essentially immortal. Really? Well, he's only immortal because he's got a lot of kids. No, he's immortal. Ultimate Ultimate Green Goblin is immortal. Hell, he oh, oh, ultimate, immortal oh, in the ultimate movies, Green too. Goblin. Seems like I he thought don't he was ever go away. Green Goblin. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, that's has, true. Uh, the Oz formula, which is what gives him and Ultimate Spider-Man their powers. Jack oh shit! Who's, who's Mr. Big Dicks now? Who's that? The woman that ain't got no dick. Yeah. No. That's you, right? That's a disappointment. That's me. Nah. Oh, that's Brian. Look at Nam Namor just driving I'm, that thing. Namor's like, I have no that idea what I'm doing. Shit. Now, if I saw that in the arcade, I would shit myself. Get your dick in there, Submariner! Yeah. I would be like, where's my dick? Oh god, it's, it's, hey. it's right in front of me. 
Hey, Jared. Yeah. Do you think Namor likes fish dicks? <laughs> <laughs> is he a gay fish? Think he's he a gay is, fish? Is he gay? Is he a gay fish? I mean, I think if they made oh! if they made Namor into the big screen, like they should do him as a gay character. It kind of looks like a naked Spock running around. He does. Yeah. He does. Yeah. No, he, he uh, well, he could be. I mean, they could like make. They, I guess they could make. If him they redid gay. Iceman, they should do the Bobby Drake Iceman that's actually gay. Because is that the new Iceman? Yes. Actually, I, it's oh. the original Iceman. Well, what? Yeah, they they backtracked and they're like, yeah, Iceman's yeah. been gay. Like teenage oh. Iceman from the from the sixties oh. or whatever. He comes forward in time, and after all, he's like, you know, I think I like dudes. And oh, oh! They oh, asked Stan hey, Lee about neat. that. They interviewed Stan Lee. And they Stan were like, "Stan was like, I don't care." No, no, no. Stan was like, <laughs> I, "I got enough money." Stan was like, "I had no idea that they did that." <laughs> oh wow, that's awesome! He's like, he's I, like, I didn't know that that happened. I had zero input on but that. But at the same time, he was like, "Yeah, that's cool." Whatever. But no, he's a cool motherfucker. So yeah. Oh, he Stan was like, Lee's a cool guy. No, that's not, that's uh, I will truly be sad. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, I knew somebody was gonna say that. I was, I was, like, I was only say, yeah, I was only ever sad. I, I don't know if I mentioned this. Did I mention the Scott Whalen is dead thing? <laughs> well, I, mean, I didn't know he, he died, dead, but earlier, uh, earlier, uh, uh, when we were me and Chris were playing, uh, I think fucking, me, you, and Matt. Were yeah, yeah, about me, it. yeah, me, me, you, and Matt were playing fucking. Scorpion's uh, just whipping his hair back and forth over here. I'm punching air. I whip my tail back and forth. I whip my tail. What the fuck is he doing? Just, come on, Scorpion, get your ass in here. Come on, get in the game. Sorry. So you were pretty upset about all. Yeah, yeah, I was super upset when Matt told me that fucking Scott Welland died. Yeah. yeah. I was like, what? I thought he was the one who's. Gonna live forever because he got his shit together, and it's no, like no, his shit was no, only together. No, he was temporary. Well, I know, yeah, it was temporary because yeah. I know he was just fucking all about. Basically, anytime he's got a new tour, he's back on. Oh man, fucking Scott, dude. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Yep. Hey, Yo, Hawkeye, want to switch? Cocaine's a hell of a drug. You guys. Are the worst. Spider Man. Spider Man. Of course, when David Bowie died, I heard a lot of. I thought he was immortal. Yeah, oh, like, I did I, say that too. Yeah. I thought we as a society- Oh god, I'm fucking black hat now! Yeah, I said, hey, you wanna switch? And you went, yeah! Oh, okay, okay, fine, yeah, I didn't- Okay, that's fine. I like- I like black hat, cause she can do this. She, she's got the web swing. Like Spider-Man. Well, Dude. shit! Well, like, uh, I got this web I ain't been using. I thought, uh... I thought that David Bowie was like the one guy who we collectively as a society were like, No, he's immortal. Yeah, yeah. I like oh, did you see the fucking story that came out about him today? Apparently, he's recorded like five albums. They're supposed of to be course. coming out what? over the next few years. Of course. I know, like his last album that he did was like a he knew he was gonna die and he was trying to hide his cancer from everybody. Yeah. He planned like certain lyrics and shit around. Really? Letting go. Yeah. Like he he did Weird. one music video called Last. Whoa! And basically, the music video of Lazarus is him talking about the end of his life and how he's going to die and leave his legacy and everything. Huh. It's awesome. really, really sad and beautiful. Yeah, I listened to a lot of old Bowie uh, last week. Just kind of, you know. Has anybody ever, has anybody seen or heard of the Venture Brothers? Yes. Okay, so you know that they have David Bowie as a fucking demigod in that show, yep. right? Where he, he can just turn into anything, like an eagle or whatever. He's and the head of the guild. Yeah, yeah, he's the head of the guild. Yeah, and he's fucking awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah, when they find him and he's like, pay no attention to the ageless rock yeah. star behind the couch. Yeah. <laughs> he's, it's awesome. Damn, Doc Ock wasn't shit. Yeah, Doc Ock just got his ass kicked. Doc off. Ock's always been a little bitch. Oh, well, unless you play the game me and Jared play. I yes. like I like Doc or, Ock ah. in the Sam Raimi movie. Well, he was actually the first. Okay, the guy. Oh, the old Howard Molina. Yes. 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 Oh, Him so as good. Doc Ock was perfect. Cast. That was oh, a yeah. good. That was such a great Doc Ock. Oh, that was a very good movie. Oh too. shit, Kingpin. We're gonna kick a fat guy in the King face! King like, I want this painting done. I'm having flashbacks it's gonna from, be a, from a certain game that we played, Chris. Oh, yeah? Yeah. With a kingpin? Uh, with a guy that reminds me of Brian. Oh! oh. Um, yeah. you need to explain yourself. You remind <laughs> me of the kingpin, Brian. If you shaved your fucking head. If you shaved your head and, wore, okay and wore a white suit, you'd be the fucking gangbang. Gotta have the ass. Now, if you have not watched our uh, Hot Blood Family episodes, 
there's a guy who looks just like the Kingpin. And I was like, yeah, no, this is pretty much Brian. And uh, and it, it it looks like you for sure. I'm okay with that. Yeah, no, I yeah. If no. there's one villain it's, in it's Marvel not, that I could be, it would be Kingpin. It's not an insult, oh. my man. You want to talk me. about perfect casting? The guy who plays Kingpin, the Daredevil. Series. Holy fuck, that guy is batshit crazy, dude. That I still have not watched any of that. Makes watch me it. feel things. Isn't that what's his name? Uh, isn't I, that the guy? Isn't that know. the guy from? Uh, isn't that fucking what's his ass? I don't know what else. I know I name. like the actor. What's I don't know his ass, man. I've seen him in other stuff, but yeah, he's really good. Okay, the guy from, uh, oh, god damn it. Oh, god, what is his name? I think, because I, I know who you're talking about. Cause, oh, fuck. God, he's, he's such, the guy, he's, he's on, he's on one of the Law and Orders. Oh, I don't watch Law and Order. I do not watch Law and He's one, he's on one of the Law and Orders. Alright, Black Cat. I don't know anything about me. any of it. I don't god, know Law and Order. It. I don't know the Daredevil series. This out. I don't know this man we speak of. Black Cat, let's there trade. There it is. Alright, let's trade. There I'll be Namor. Is. I'm Black Cat now. Alright, I'm Namor! Woo! Finally, I'm Namor! Jared I'm loving Jared it! Too. I'm loving it! I love him! Look, he can do all kind of shit! He's amazing! Jared's a woman now. Now. Jesus. You're Floosh. a woman. Uh, get us some more coins, dude. Uh, Go yeah, I've go. got it. I've got it. Oh, you're I'm, on it? Yeah, I'm on it. I'm on Why it. did I even doubt you? I've been pressing that button all the time. I love how Kingpin's power is that just he's really fucking strong. I think it's I think his actual thing is that he has control over all of his muscles. He has. Yeah, the thing about is yeah, that a he, pizza man? No. Sand oh my man. god, the Sandman! Jesus, it looked like a pizza on the ground flying towards me. It's Pizza Man. Just slithering. Just, Man, they throw the bosses at you in this game like oh, this non game fucking amazing. This is awesome. I love it. This is a great beat em up. Like, it is. It is. I agree. This, these type of beat em ups, normally I'm not a fan of, but this is fun as shit. Hey, this really They're is. They're always fun when you don't have to ever die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <That helps. laughs> what it's you fun once you take all the challenge yeah, and difficulty exactly. away. Exactly. <laughs> oh, man. But no, dude, uh, Kingpin from the Daredevil series, they make him a sympathetic character. You like hear you his feel bad backstory. for him. Chris, you have to watch that for cinematography alone. Yeah. Dude, it is amazing. There's one sh there's one fight scene they do. Oh yeah, the one shot. Where it's 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 one shot in a hallway and the fight comes in and out of the hallway. Mhm. Mm but the camera stays in the hallway. So like you just oh. have to assume what happens inside the like rooms whenever you That's called making it low budget. Yeah. Well, I mean, it they got works that Netflix though. Money, though. Like it, it's not exactly still, a low budget series. Still, I know it still makes it low budget. Okay, well, so, so be it. It makes it awesome. All right. I so, know, I is, has anybody seen the one movie where it's like uh, Jennifer Lopez is uh, fighting a guy in her dreams? Jennifer's body. Oh, um, the cell. The cell. Any, that who, the, movie. the main bad guy. The main bad guy. I don't know. I don't know her fucking name. Or his name. Spider-Man. Okay, I'm Spider-Man now. Somebody didn't uh, get their shit together. No, I mean I didn't purposely hey, Hawkeye, to a oh, oh, some mariner. Oh, Hawkeye. Le oh god. So I can shoot man. that electricity. Yeah, that electricity you just got awesome. to be a new character, Jared. Stop. So it, whoever that guy is <laughs> in that movie, the main bad guy in that movie. Again, I can't remember his name. I'm trying to. I'm trying to help. I'm trying to hope. Hopefully, somebody's like, yeah, no, I know that guy. Well, wow. I'm sure they have, like an hour ago. I, uh. have, I have not been given any information. What are you talking about? The god bad guy. It, from the bad. The, the fucking the guy. The guy who plays the kingpin. No. God damn it. I always together. get him and the uh, the guy who played the thing in the original Fantastic Four movies. Michael Chiklis? That's yeah. not no Michael. That's not Michael Chiklis. Bald, intimidating guy that's on no. the shield. That guy has not ever been intimidating until that. Michael Chiklis is also like four feet tall. Yeah, really. Well, he's also been in a, he's also been in a show called The Shield, and he's the super shield, intimidating yeah. in that show. And he was also in uh, fucking Breaking Bad. Was he? Wasn't Michael he Michael Jiglis? No. Wasn't he no. the brother-in-law in Breaking Bad? No, no. no. That was somebody him. else. See, really? You're, you're no. confusing your fat, small, bald guy. Yeah. All right, well, let's join this conversation in the next episode, guys. All right. Are we, are we ready? He's constantly this killing himself. I am in a world of shit.